This is area one. This, this is area one, and of course we have the bathrooms over here, shower house. Or, I think these are just bathrooms here. They have showers in this one, I don't know. And then of course this is lakeside. To me this is one of the prettiest spots here, because it's got that big open field there toward the, toward the waters. Isabella. And usually the camp host is used to camp host was here. But up oh, they moved over here. Yeah, right there. Yeah. They got the volunteer host there. And then over here they have their basketball courts and then they've got like a volleyball court in the back and they'll host like um cornhole tour tournaments and stuff and then over there is the little store and you can rent the kayaks and get some groceries you know those last minute things they got they drink a lot with the ice cream bella hush and then area two they have the playground back there and this is where we are going to camp in area two um, That's what you gotta watch out for in area two. And then they got a smoker. Tell somebody's had a family reunion or something over here. And this camper is the camp host, which she's not there now. It's a friend of ours. We usually come to visit, but they're not here yet. A lot of these hosts will actually, they live near here, and some have jobs and stuff, so they'll go do their thing during the week and come over in the evenings and... Uh, they can come over for the weekends and stuff. And uh, my favorite all-time spot to camp is this last place up here. It's called Area 52. And because uh, it's lakeside and you have this extra space here. So we can always park our boats and stuff there. Um... You've got the boat ramp there, which I think is a little steep, but you can't put the boat in there. There's also like a step down next to the water, and you can get down there and do some fishing. And then they rebuilt the dock. It got destroyed in a flood. And you could fish from there.
Tell some people take their camping serious. One had their fence all out in front of their camper there. Come out the front door in like a fenced in yard. Mm -hmm. And some of these volunteer hosts come over and they just stay all summer. I mean, some that don't live in the general area, they may go home every couple of weeks, but they've got f facilities here. They can do their own laundry here. And some of these campers even have laundry facilities in them. Bella. thing that bothers me about camping and don't get me wrong I enjoy kids having fun and stuff but they don't watch what they do
see the deer. They're just sitting there. Look, there's one up there on the hill, too. I know. Yeah. Still got spots. They still got his spots. <laughs> They're like, go on, move on. Have a good night, see. We have a play area here for the kids. Now you all have seen us at the Stone Bridge. If you follow the creek on up through there, just not very far either. Um, I said follow that road. Yeah, if you follow that road, it'll bring you out right there at the Stone Bridge. Yep. But of course, they have a blocked off and everything, but, you know. Now again, this is area two. This is the back side of where we drove around it. Of course, the lake is on on that side. And here is their little amphitheater. Usually on Friday night or Saturday nights, they have a little, uh, they'll do a family movie and stuff there. <coughs> and they'll sell like little popcorns and drinks and some candies and stuff like that. Playground area for the kids. <laughs> 